word, I'm going to ask that you all turn with me to the chapter Luke, the book of Luke, the gospel of Luke, chapter 5. Amen? Amen. Luke chapter 5. Amen. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Luke chapter 5. When you get it, say amen. Amen. We're going to read these scriptures responsibly all the way from chapter 1 to verse 11. Amen. We won't be long before you on today. Hallelujah. That is fine, woman of God. Amen. And it came to pass that as the people pressed upon him to bear the word of God, he stood by the lake of Gennesaret. And we, so, mm -hmm. and verse so. And saw two ships standing by the lake, but the fishermen were going out of them and were washing their nets. And he entered into one of the ships, which was Simon's, and prayed him that he would thrust out a little from the land. And he sat down and taught the people out of the ship. Now when he had left speaking, Said unto Simon, Launch out into the deep and let your nets fall dry. And Simon answered and said unto him, Master, we have toiled all the night and have taken nothing. Nevertheless, at your word, I will let down the net. And when they had done this, they enclosed a great multitude of fishes and their net broke. And they beckoned unto their partners, which were in the other ships, that they should come and help them. And they came and filled both the ships, so that they began to sink. When Simon Peter saw it, he fell down at Jesus' knees, saying, Depart from me, for I am a sinful man, O Lord. For he was astonished, and all who were with him at the drought of the fishes which they had taken. And so was also James and John, the sons of Zebedee, which were partners with Simon. And Jesus said unto Simon, Fear not, from henceforth thou shalt catch men. In verse 11 we shall read together, And when they had brought their ships to land, they forsook all and followed him. Amen. The message today is going to come forth, hallelujah, from the text, launch out to the deep. Amen. We want to speak to you about that today, just, just launching out. Hallelujah, Jesus. And I'm going to ask Bishop to begin to read, hallelujah, because this is a time, listen, beloved, this is a time, hallelujah, when we need to a word of God, amen, that we can move forth and do that what it is that he would have for us to do. Uh, this, this word is coming forth through the gospel of Luke, amen. The Holy Spirit inspired Luke to write these words, amen. So the person that's really speaking to you today is the author, and the author is the Holy Spirit. For the word of God is an inspired word, is a prophetic word, amen. It is a holy word. This word pertains spirit and life. Uh, if there's anything that you're lacking on today, I promise you, hallelujah, you'll lack no more because this is a word of abundance. If you can receive it, believe it, and apply it, amen? Amen, hallelujah. So before we go forth, Lord, hide me behind your cross. Don't allow it to be me that your people see, oh God, but let it be you. Don't let it be my voice that they hear, oh God, but let it be your voice, 
of Jesus and experience a revelation of his heavenly power. Hallelujah. One can only come to Christ. One can only come to know God once he reveals himself. Amen. Somebody say, Lord, reveal yourself unto me. Come on and prophesy, Lord, reveal yourself unto me. Hallelujah. A, a, a miraculous wonder can only take place once he reveals himself. Uh, this is a revealed word, a revelatory word that came forth by way of the Spirit of God who revealed the mind of God to them. Amen. Uh, through Jesus Christ. So, Lord, reveal your word to me. Hallelujah. Bishop began to read. Okay. <coughs> Luke chapter 5, verse 1. Yes. And it came to pass that as the people pressed upon him to hear the word of God, he stood by the lake of Gensherat, verse 2, and saw two ships standing by the lake, but the fishermen were going out of them and were washing. Beloved, on today, hallelujah, there are people standing around. Hallelujah, Jesus, and they're waiting and they're pressing upon Jesus.
now when he had left speaking, he said unto Simon, Launch out into the deep and let down your nets for a drop. So now that the disciples was out there all night long toiling, and then he done borrowed the boat and turned it into a pulpit. Hallelujah, Jesus. They don't have no money, they ain't got no fish. But Jesus is telling them to launch out into the deep. Well, beloved, deep calls them to deep on today. The Holy Spirit reveals the deep secret things of God unto you. If you want to go deep, you got Now, 
his word at his word? Do we even know what the word of God is? Are we in a position and a posture to hear from God? Hallelujah. Or is the kids and the worries of life and all the noise of the world clogging you? Amen. Does that have your attention? Can you no longer hear him the way you would like to? Hallelujah. Or the way you used to. Hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, my God, it's time to hear a word from God. Because we can only launch out once we have heard this word. Bishop, can you read verse 6? Verse 6 says, And when they had done this, they enclosed a great multitude of fishes, and their net broke. Uh -huh. Verse 7, And they beckoned unto their partners, which were in the other ship, that they should come and help them. When you launch out on the word of God, he keeps you in the overflow. When you launch out on his word, there is an increase, there is abundance. When you launch out, hallelujah, Jesus, because can't nobody bless you like he wants to, amen? He want to bless you if you only let him bless you. If you only to call your ear unto his voice and launch, my God, in the overflow. He wants to bless you in the overflow. He wants to keep you in abundance. For we do have an abundant life. Amen in Christ. Hallelujah. And sometimes it's not what people see and what not even what we would think. You have to know that you know that you know that you are spiritually rich. Uh, you have to know what being spiritually rich is. Hallelujah. Some people will look at a man with no money and say he poor. But God may call him rich. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus, his ways are not our ways. Uh, and his thoughts are not our Yes. Will you trust him at his work? Yes. Increase yes. 
Just let the church 
church say amen 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 and it is so amen and it is so amen God has spoken just let the church say chance we do not serve a happenstance God I tell you he does things on purpose amen when he allow you to encounter people he allow you to encounter those people on purpose hallelujah I'm not telling the Lord child on the word of man but on the word of God that he has dropped in your spirit he spoke to you today hallelujah those things that you thought has died and that would never come into fruition watch him do it watch him do it Lord child Hold on to the word, hallelujah. I'm launching out for my loved ones, for my brothers, for my sisters, for my children. I'm launching out. My spiritual children who I hadn't even met yet, that I know that God is going to send them through the door. I'm launching out for them. I have to launch out. I have to stand for them, beloved. I have to believe God for their salvation, sanctification, and holiness. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And you have to launch out with your faith, amen. Hallelujah, Jesus. For those of you that watched the video on today, hallelujah. That was Jesus calling the disciples to follow him in this message. And you saw how Peter responded, how some of you would respond. Lord, leave me, for I am sinful, amen. But he came for the sinner man. He didn't come for the church, he came for the sinner man. He's coming for the church, but this time he came for the sinner man. Every sinner man, boy, girl, and child. A man and woman. He came for the sinner man. He died for you. Hallelujah. So we offer you Jesus today. Hallelujah. I don't make excuses. Don't turn away. He knew your condition when he called you, when he placed it in your heart. Hallelujah. Yes. We offer you Jesus and all his sovereignty. My God. We offer you eternal life. Jesus. And for those of you that's watching the video or that will watch it on TV on channel 23 or 20 plus 3. Just repeat these words after me. Say, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Come into my heart. Come into my heart. I believe that you died. I believe that you died. For my sins. For my sins. I believe that you are Lord. I believe that you are Lord. And I believe that you resurrected. And I believe that you resurrected. Lord, make me over. Lord, make me over. Baptize me. Baptize me. With your Holy Ghost and fire. With your Holy Ghost and fire. With the evidence of speaking in tongues. With the evidence of speaking in tongues. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. And when you stand, you will say. But don't just stand here. Go ahead and thrust out and find you a ministry. Jesus. Where the death and burial and the resurrection and Pentecost is being preached and taught. And then launch out to the deep. Fishes of men. Fishes. Hallelujah. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord.